Hi friends, how are you? Happy three days until launch day. Three? Is that right? Are we at three? What's my name? <laughs> what day is it? <laughs> Happy three days until launch day. Um, let me get my little thing over here all set up. Welcome to Practical Planning. We are going to talk all about all the tactical stuff that has to do with your signature simplified planner. I'm going to walk you through all the pages of one of them. We're going to talk about how to get it set up successfully and simply and some tips and tricks that we've learned from you guys and also what we've learned using and working on these for the past couple of years. I have a very large cup of coffee over here that you're just gonna have to bear with me while I drink it because whew, we had a little one up last night sick all night long. Poor buddy. He's okay now, but tell me about or something. All right. Now, I'm hoping that today we can kind of run this thing off your questions. So I'm going to be looking over here a lot because that's where your comments are and I can see them. Hi. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm going to be looking over here so that I can see some of your questions and then Dusty's going to text me questions too. And we're going to let that kind of lead, um, lead what we do. Okay. Ready? My whole team has been talking about the Enneagram all morning. You guys taking the Enneagram quiz? It's so cool. It's so cool. Anyway. We're fascinated by the whole thing. Right. Now, practical planning. First of all, I know a lot of you are new friends here, so I wanted to just kind of give you some background on the Simplified Planner and where it came from and what makes it a little bit different. Um, back in 2008, I got married. Brian and I got married, and I decided that I was working. I, had a, I have a master's degree, and I was working in higher education fundraising, and I knew that we wanted to start a family and I wanted to have flexibility as a mom, like my own mom had as a teacher. I knew that I wasn't born with that like thing, that gift you have to have to be a teacher. So I knew teaching was not the route for me, but I wanted a career that was different than the like 80, 100 hour weeks I was working in my job, that, that job. And so I started just designing stuff. I started designing stationery. I had made my own wedding invitations um, to save money during our wedding. And I had made stationery as gifts for bridesmaids and things like that. And so I was like, well, maybe I can kind of do something with this. Um, Etsy was new. Uh, Twitter was the thing. <laughs> Facebook was like kind of cool. And there was no Instagram. And so I just kind of picked it up from there and kept going with the whole graphic design stationery thing, started doing wedding invitations and kind of sharing the heart behind all of it, not just selling the products. And so it really took off. And I worked without a salary for two years and that job and my other job. <laughs> well, I had a salary from my other job, but no salary from the company. We knew we wanted to run it debt free and we had to snowball the thing. So um, I would go to work from eight to five, sometimes longer. And then during lunch breaks and in the middle of the night, I would work on what was then called Emily Lay Paper. And Brian, to this day, my husband still calls this company ELP. <laughs> um, but when my son was born, when Brady was born, I decided that I was overwhelmed. I had left the full-time job. I was completely overwhelmed. I was like trying to keep life together, trying to keep myself together, trying to love on this child that I loved so much and do this job, this graphic design, I was doing brand design and like designing brochures for NASCAR, <laughs> I was doing all kinds of stuff. I just wanted a way to keep it all together. And so I went to Target and I searched through all the planners that were there, went to Office Depot, went to all the places. And I literally like sat on the floor and thumbed through pages and everything I found was super complicated. It had like boxes to check for budgets and how many glasses of water you had that day and just so many things that made me feel like more of a failure. <laughs> I was already feeling like I was failing at a lot of things and it just made me feel like I wasn't living up. And so I came home and took a Sharpie and like a binder with paper in it and just drew out what I thought a simplified planner would look like and the rest is history. And we've always said that we don't just sell day planners, that we sell planners with a lot of heart and we really want to empower you and equip you and educate you through the entire process, even before you own one, um, but the whole life of your planner as well. So one of the most important things I can tell you about the simplified planner is that it comes with coaching. So you will get video coaching in your inbox for the life of your signature simplified planner um, once a month. It's videos for me and then also an email with sometimes it'll have some freebies in it, some printables, some coupon codes and that kind of thing. Um, okay, 
So that's a little bit of the history. Here we are now. We have a team of eight who I know you guys have gotten to know over the past couple of years, and especially over the past couple of days. They're, most of them, if not all of them, are on here now. Thanks, team. They're all coming to Pensacola on Tuesday to get ready for launch day, and I am just so, so, so excited for them to be here and for us to do launch day in the same room for the first time ever. Okay. Simplified Planner. I have my camera set up a little different today so that hopefully you can see these pages. So please let me know in the comments. I'm going to kind of spy over here um, to make sure that you guys can see it okay. I think if I hold it over here, it blocks the light a little bit and you can actually see the pages. So these are just some pages we um, mocked up to show you how to use some accessories. This was when we were doing the Ruthless Declutter Challenge. This is a daily edition. So we have uh, weekly and daily editions. We launch twice a year. Um, we just revealed the covers for both launches, but um, in the spring, so next Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern time, we are launching our academic year editions. Those are dated August through next July. They run on the academic year. In September, we launch our calendar year editions that run January through December of next year. The only difference is the dates, okay? You can get a daily or a weekly in both options. Um, if you have any questions about that, because I know that sometimes that can get confusing, please go ahead and put it in the comments. Oh, good. Wit told me that she can see the pages. Wit's the one that's been trying to help me with the lighting in this room. <laughs> okay, good. Yay. Um, all right. So I want to, before we kind of dive in, I want to just tell you what comes inside every plan, every signature simplified planner. And then I want to talk to you a little bit about how to set it up. So... We're going to be doing, we've done them before and you can watch them on our video library on our website, but we are going to be doing in July, so before you start your planner, we're going to do a live setting, a live setup workshop where I'm going to sit down and show you exactly how to get your planner set up and I'll probably be setting mine up as well, like with you. Um, it's super simple, it's very easy, but I have some tips and tricks to setting it up easily every year. Um, because you want to get it completely set up before you start using it on a daily basis, right? Okay, so what comes in every Signature Simplified Planner? Well, first of all, they come in keepsake boxes, which, hold on, this is live, so just hang tight. Um, let me find a box. Okay, this is a, this is a weekly box, and this is the box that it comes in. Um, the keepsake box is actually really fun to use for like photos or mementos from the year or whatever. Um, I've seen a lot of fun ways that people use the keepsake boxes, but this is it. It has a little ribbon pull and then your simplified planner is inside it. It also comes with, oh man, I don't think I have one right here. It comes with a little, uh, booklet that kind of walks you through the quick, simple steps of setting up your simplified planner. So that'll be the little thing inside it. If you followed me for any time now, you know that Caroline calls that her planner, the little book thing. I don't know. She like carries it around with her. All right. So that's the keepsake box. The daily edition box is a little bit bigger, but it's nice and sturdy and you can use it for all sorts of things. Okay. Daily edition. Oh, y'all, this is old. Hold on. <laughs> Wrong cover. Uh, weekly edition. And daily edition. So let me show you the side. That <laughs> this is blue tile. This is last year. Please ignore that cover. Uh, this is the daily edition. This is the weekly edition. And you can see there is a size difference. Um, there is also a weight difference. Obviously, this one is a little thinner because the weekly edition shows weekly spreads and monthly spreads, and the daily edition shows daily spreads and monthly spreads. Um, they have the same pages in the front. So the pages in the front include a couple different things that I'll walk you through in a minute, but they, they're the exact same in the daily or weekly. The daily edition has uh, Mylar tabs. You can see the tabs kind of right there. Hold on. There we go. The daily edition has Mylar tabs that stick out and uh, a nice hard cover with a really great coating on the outside to keep it safe. It has true gold binding that's super durable. People tell me they're worried about like bending the binding or messing it. You're not gonna mess it up, it's fine. If you put it in your bag, put it in your bag, coil up. Don't put it coil down. Otherwise you get like, it'll open and just don't do that. Um, this one, the weekly is obviously a little more portable than the other one, than the daily. Um, but if you need a lot of space, the daily is the right one for you. You can go to our website and take a quiz 
that will tell you if you're if you should use the daily edition or the weekly edition for your life and it will tell you which cover style is best for you okay let's see oh yeah Jessa just posted a really great uh, thing here so the link that Jessa just posted you can compare each edition with all the differences the size the the everything the dates on at that link if you go to our website and you click on the big image with the girls um, holding the planners click that and it'll take you to this uh, page on our site that's called getting to know the simplified planner and we have videos the quiz we have images just all sorts of good like little charts and descriptions all sorts of stuff that's really beautifully laid out for you to um, see all the difference between all of them okay so this one's forty eight dollars this one's fifty eight dollars um, let me see what else do I want to show you? The weekly has a ribbon that is for um, marking your page. The daily does not. We do have magnetic page markers somewhere over here. All right, I think it's I think they're under a stack of planners, so I'll show you those later. But we have magnetic page markers on our website that you can get and use to keep your place in your uh, daily planner or your weekly planner if you want to use it for that. Okay, now opening up the planners, you have. Let's see. Oh, and then you have the really pretty little gold corners that keep it safe. And then on the inside of the daily edition, you have a pocket. Weekly has it too, but I'll show you that in a minute. You have a pocket on this side, and then you have stickers over here. The stickers have been refreshed. So if you've had a signature simplified planner in the past, you've seen our doodle stickers, but they have been refreshed for this year. And let's see, let me show you the weekly open just really quick. Okay, pockets. If you have used a signature simplified planner before, I want you to tell me in the comments and just so everyone can see, like, what do you keep in your pocket? I keep in mine, I keep um, a perpetual calendar. So it, the perpetual calendar is in our free printable library. You can print it out and this is one of the most important parts of setting up your simplified planner. So I'll refer back to this a little bit later, but that perpetual calendar printed out from our website and use it for the next however many years. Print just one and you write down, like it'll say January, line, 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 line. February, line, 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 line. Okay, and then you go in and you write like two, mom, if your mom's birthday is January 2nd. 16, Brady, it's not his birthday, but whatever. 20, this friend, right? Like you write all the birthdays down, it's perpetual. So you will fold it in half and then tuck it inside your pocket. And when you set up your Simplify Planner, you will have that every year to go ahead and put birthdays on the right months and days. Okay, so I'll, we'll talk about that a little bit more. But inside the front pocket, it's such a good thing to put here. I also love to put um, stationery. So stamp, put stamps on a couple pieces of stationery. Then you have thank you notes right here that you can write really easily and pop in the mail. Um, also put coupons over here. This, the pocket's really sturdy and great. So just put that right there. Okay, and let me look at what you guys said. Sorry, I'm going to look over here. Um, oh, okay, I keep the flags and some post-it notes to stick in the calendar. Um, stickers stay in my weekly pocket. Jessa said she keeps checks that need depositing, a couple envelopes, a, one generic birthday card. Yep. Um, let's see. Stickers, mini notebook. Awesome. Yay, perpetual calendar. Yes, use that perpetual calendar. It is so helpful in setting up your planner year after year. Um, okay, so we talked about the stickers, talked about the pocket. Let's look in the weekly. Oh, I didn't show you the, the tabs on the weekly. So the tabs on the weekly edition are what we call step die. And it's because they are die cut. Let me see if I can show you this. See how they're die cut, the pages? All the pages are die cut according to what month they fall in. And the tabs are mylar covered. So they don't just stick out. They're actually die cut. See it? Okay. Um, what else? Tabs. Let's talk about the front. So inside the front, with our signature simplified planners, you get the best planner paper on planet Earth. It's Mohawk Via, and it is amazing. And back when I was designing wedding invitations, this is the type of paper that I used. I used like a cardstock, obviously, for a wedding invitation, and this is a text weight, but it's the exact same paper. Because when we started looking for the best planner paper ever, I was like, if I used it, for, if it was good enough for wedding invitations, I bet it'll be amazing in a planner. 
and it doesn't bleed. It's awesome. Um, I'll talk to you about some of our favorite pens to use on it, but the paper is amazing and it smells really nice, which is just really strange, but it just smells beautiful. Okay. Then once you flip the page, well, you have a little spot to write your name. And then once you flip the page, we have just a couple of like links and a, some little encouragement here. Um, my favorite thing, this has been in every Simplify Planner we've ever done. It's not about living the perfect life. It's about simplifying real life to make time for what matters most. Um, and then you have a little note from me on this side. This is in the daily and the weekly. Then over here, we have the process of simplifying. We've broken it down into four simple steps to just kind of get your mind in the right mindset um, before you start tackling actually using your planner. So we walk you through naming what matters, eliminating distractions, establishing routines, and then choosing what matters, actively choosing it as you're planning. Over here, we have some tips on how to use your simplified planner, just super tactical things, um, how to get it set up, how to care for your simplified planner, and then over here, we have your entire year, which with this particular academic version, we start in August and go all the way through next July. And then over here, we have a list of 2019-20 holidays that fall within that time frame. And let's see, over here, okay, so this is our simplified prep work. And this is one of my favorite parts. Let me see if I can show it to you well. This is our simplified prep work. And you can see over here, we have preparing for a new year. So talking about what worked last year, hold on, let me go this side. What worked last year, what didn't work last year. If you watched any of the Facebook Lives we've done this week, we've talked a lot about overwhelm, about self and soul care. We've talked a lot about intentionally planning your year because a pretty planner is not gonna change your life unless you are ready to make changes and establish new routines. Um, and so that's what's most important to us. So this, this prep work is very near and dear to us. We want you to sit down and like really, really dig into it. Um, so will you, will you think through what worked last year and what didn't work last year? Um, ideas for new routines and healthy habits. We talked a lot about that yesterday. Oh, my doorbell's about to ring. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> real life. Uh, let's see. Ideas for new routines. I love this particular page because it's Monday through Sunday and we have Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. And what I like to do here is write out like if you're doing laundry like once a week or twice a week, you put your laundry day. If you're doing like um, Taco Tuesday or Pizza Fridays or that kind of thing, put those here. Those are weekly routines that you can establish and put them right here. Then you have morning routine and evening routine. And then you have the simplicity challenge. So the simplicity challenge is something that we do every January that is, has been so much fun. And we've been able to connect with so many new people because that simplicity challenge just goes crazy. And what it is, is it's 30 simple steps to simplifying your life. And they're easy y'all. Like there are things you can do in less than 15 minutes. Things like, um, Let's see. Simplify your phone. Delete old contacts and unused apps. Refresh your lock screen. Make a list of 10 go-to meals. Tape it to the fridge for simple meal planning. Uh, really easy stuff, but really awesome to like tackle as soon as you get your simplified planner so you can really kick things off in the right way. Over here we have our yearly bucket list. Yearly bucket list is things that you want to say at the end of the 12 months. You're so glad you did that year. Um, that might be things like reading a certain book or a number of books. It might be like um, going on a vacation or a staycation, uh, visiting a friend, or um, any kind of thing that you want to say that you did uh, throughout the year. You put that here and you only check it off when you plan it, okay? So it's not when you did it, it's when you plan it, when you actually put it in your planner. All right, new this year to all signature simplified planners are the notes pages in the front. You guys asked for these for years and years and years and we finally did it. We have um, four notes pages in the front. So you can see people have asked me this question. So I'm just going to show you one, two, three, four. It's two spreads, four pages, if that makes sense. Now, what I'm going to use this for, and this is one of the reasons I'm most excited about it, is a list of my go-to meals because meal planning and cooking is just painful for me. <laughs> it's hard. Um, I don't really love to cook. I really wish I did. I've tried. 
Um, but I just don't. It's like not in my DNA. My entire family, they love cooking and I it just, I don't know, it just missed me. So um, I get really stressed out every week when I have to feel like I have to reinvent the wheel. And what I like to do, and this was an idea for my mom, she does this. She goes through her old planners and writes down the meals that she made that she loved that she can pull from for next year. So she has a list of like, gosh, probably like 50 or 60 uh, meals that she keeps on a piece of paper that she's now going to put in here um, that are meals that she really loved and enjoyed cooking. So I'm going to put a couple of things. When I do this in my planner, I'll share it. But um, I'm going to put a couple things like taco bowls, egg roll bowls, um, breakfast for dinner, um, meatloaf. We love Paula Deen's meatloaf. <laughs> um, I'm going to put like our favorite things over here so that when I'm meal planning, I can just flip there and be like, what are some easy things that I know how to make and my kids and husband love? Uh, we have some picky people in our household, so I have to be on it. All right, then you have your monthly pages. This is the weekly again. You have your monthly pages with notes over here. And then you have your weekly pages. And yes, this is a question I'm getting a lot, so I want to make sure I say it. We did remove the meal planning boxes from the weekly edition. The meal planning, we used to have, hold on, there we go. We used to have little boxes here in the weekly edition that were for meal planning. But every year we sit down and look at the simplified planners and say, what can we do to simplify them more and make them even more applicable to any type of life? And so, what we did is we, on the daily last year, we pulled out the, here, let me show you. We pulled out the little dinner box at the bottom of the daily page and just opened it up completely. Let's see if you can see it well. Let's let that camera focus. Um, let me get out of the frame so it'll focus on it. Um, you can see we opened up the bottom to be just notes pages and it, people absolutely loved it. I absolutely love it. I love having more space. I can use that space instead of having like a box just for dinner, taking up so much space. If I'm just writing pot roast, it's like taking up so much space and I need that space. So um, we did that in the weekly so that we could free you up to use it however you want. So now on every single um, day, you have three additional task lines. It's either three or two. I think it's three. Um, you have, yeah, it's definitely three. So you have three additional task lines where you can write things in and you just have a lot more space. I would say if you are meal planning in your simplified planner, write your dinner on the very bottom line of the schedule side. Okay. Um, and you can use a little sticker if you want to like denote that little spot. Okay. What else? Another thing that we have in every simplified planner is Sunday prep. And Sunday prep is something, let me see if I can show it to you. This is the weekly. Uh, it's probably not going to focus, but this is Sunday prep. It's in the daily and the weekly uh, editions. And Sunday prep is something that I believe in very, very much. I'm going to do later on today, uh, on a Sunday, to prepare for the week ahead. So we outlined four things that you can do. Plan meals for the week ahead, tidy up for a clean slate on Monday, write tasks and appointments for the week, and fill your tank, enjoy what matters most. So I love having those little tasks just to remind me on Sundays, like regroup, rest, get ready for Monday, and set yourself up for success, right? Sunday prep is crucial over here with three kids and a husband with a busy job and me with a busy job and all kinds of things going on. So on Sundays, those are some of the things I do. They're not all the things I do. Um, I try, I really try on Sundays to get our family back to square one, like all the way back to square one where everything is like in its place, the laundry's done and put away, the fridge is stocked and we are like ready to go and prepared for Monday, right? It just helps us start the week off on a good foot. Um, okay. Let me scroll down in the comments so I can follow you guys. Oh, love the Sunday prep. It changed my life. Glad that it's still there. Totally agree. I, I, I have heard people say they want Sunday prep removed, but it, I don't think we'll ever remove it. It is such a crucial part of utilizing your simplified planner in the best way. This is not just any planner. This is the simplified planner. And so we want to set you up for success. We want to give you everything that we can give you to really simplify your life. Okay. All right. Um, what else? So we've walked through, oh, the, the weekly editions have notes pages in the back. There's 27 notes pages in the back of the weekly editions. The dailies do not have this. This is just the weeklies. 
Um, let's walk through what to do when your simplified planner arrives. Oh, Dusty, thanks. I already have some questions. Okay, I'm gonna do your questions at the very end. So if, if you have questions over here, go ahead and put those in. I'm gonna walk through um, what to do when your simplified planner arrives, how to get it set up, and then just a couple of tips and tricks about color coding and accessorizing, okay? And then we'll do, um, we'll do questions. Today's Facebook Live might be a little bit shorter than others. I'm gonna try to make it to the late service at church. <laughs> um, and thank you to everyone watching this later. I know we put it right smack in the middle of church time on a Sunday. Um, okay. Next, planner arrives, okay? Simplified planner comes to your house. You're so excited. You open the box, there it is, and you're like, great, what do I do? Um, obviously, you can join me for the setup workshop in July. We'll announce the date of that later. But if you wanna go ahead and get a head start, here is what I suggest. Carve out some time for yourself. Do not try to set up your simplified planner with all kinds of other things going on around you. Um, even if you're able to just carve like 30 minutes, just you with a good cup of coffee or tea, um, quiet place and gather birthdays, anniversaries, important dates, that kind of thing with you. Do that beforehand. When I moved from Tampa to Pensacola, I texted a whole bunch of friends and was like, give me, tell me your birthdays, tell me your kids' birthdays. I want to keep them on that perpetual calendar so that I can love on you and like, maintain, I wanted to really like maintain those friendships um, after we moved. And I wanted to make sure that I, I didn't forget those important days without them like right in front of my face in my city. So I have like a serious perpetual calendar that um, lives in my planner and I'll use that to set it up. So gather all that beforehand. Okay. Then what you're going to do is we are going to work through the simplified prep work first. That is the number one most important thing to do when you sit down to prepare your simplified planner. Don't just dive into putting dates on pages. I promise you, if you do that, this will just become another planner that you don't use, to be completely frank. How many times do you go out and buy a planner and you're like, it's going to change my life. It's going to change my life. And then you're like, oh, wait, it's on the shelf. Still, I haven't really touched it because... I don't want to get it messy and like my handwriting isn't that good and I don't know I just I don't want to mess it up and I don't know I just haven't really used it or it's kind of fallen out of my routine like don't do that with this one <laughs> on the first Facebook live we did I made every single person promise me in the comments you have to also we joke we joked on our team group text the other day that we should put a box at checkout that says I will get my planner messy <laughs> I will make a mess in it but you had to check it before it allowed you to check out we didn't do that don't worry but um, we really, really want you to use it. So set, set yourself up the right way by doing the work before you dive in, okay? Simplify prep work. Think about it on your own before you involve your spouse or whomever else. What worked last year, right? What were things in your routine, in your daily life that just really worked? Um, for me, we have a new routine now that we're in Pensacola. Um, I work from home and my husband works in an office. And he and I wake up at the same time. We get, well, okay, hold on. I actually started waking up really early recently uh, with my Sunshine Squad. Part of, like half of our team is on the Sunshine Squad and we always wake up at five o'clock. And um, we've kind of been on a roll, but I wake up at five. My husband wakes up at 6.30 and I get up at five and I just kind of get ready, get myself ready so that I don't have to do that while I'm getting everybody else ready. My kids get up at seven um, I will feed them breakfast, get them dressed, do those things. While I'm feeding them breakfast, Brian goes upstairs and makes their beds. Brady kind of makes his bed. He, he tries. <laughs> Brian goes in and kind of straightens it. Um, but he makes the beds, and it's just so nice to have them made. Um, and then I will kiss them a goodbye and get them out the door, and then I go downstairs to the Peloton and ride the bike. I try to work out and just, like, um, get that over with, because if I don't, I won't do it later on. So that routine of him taking them to school and making the beds and me getting them ready and then going straight to the Peloton, it's really worked for us. It's been a nice routine that's really just worked, okay? So that's what worked for me this year, I'm writing that down. What didn't work last year? Identify the pain points in your day, right? Are there times in your day when things unravel, right? Um, <laughs> I saw this meme the other day. You've probably seen it, but it says something like, this is my diet throughout the day. I have egg whites for breakfast and a salad for lunch and then 
Cheetos for dinner. <laughs> That's me. Like I can be so good all day long and eat like really nourishing food and then night time comes and I'm like, give me the goldfish. Can I get an amen? Uh, so that doesn't work for me. That's me not eating enough good fat and stuff like that throughout the day. It just doesn't work for me because nighttime comes and I am ravenous. Uh, doesn't work. Doesn't, doesn't work, Emily. We need to find a new way. Um, what are some other pain points? Do your kids unravel during like getting them out the door for school or when they come home? Does that, does everything just like, blah? Um, for us, for a long time, the mornings were insane. And we started laying out their clothes the night before, uh, all of their clothes in the same place. Like right there, they can come and grab them and go get dressed, including their shoes and the hair bow and the belts. Like everything is right there, ready for them to get dressed. Um, and I lay out their clothes. I have like a, they wear uniforms. And so I have like a stack of uniform clothes in the laundry room. I pull from that and we lay out their clothes and shoes the night before. Just makes it so much easier. So identify the pain point. Don't let the pain point continue to happen. Identify what it is and find a solution. Um, give yourself a gift of time to sit down and be like, what's not working? Well, this isn't working. Well, let's find a solution for it. That will make your life a lot more simplified as you start using your planner. So that's the first part of prep work. Let me go back to it so I can make sure I'm uh, going through all the things. So ideas for new routines and healthy habits. That's, that's the solution portion of this, okay? Then on the next page, let me just show you where I am. Uh, we have the Mondays through the Sundays over here. And that's what I was talking about when you're meal planning. You can have like Taco Tuesdays or Pizza Fridays or whatever you have it here. Then I want you to write down your morning routine and your evening routine. What does that look like? And be tactical. If you take three vitamins in the morning, write down take three vitamins, right? If you, you know, in your part of your evening routine, have a cup of tea in the bathtub, <laughs> write down, have a cup of tea in the bathtub. Writing down your morning and evening routines, I think is so cool because it helps you be more consistent. And if you're more consistent, then you just feel like a little bit more of a cadence to life. And it just, I don't know, it just calms you down for me and our family. By the way, we're not perfect and you're not going to be perfect. Um, having these things as like just markers of like, this is kind of what we want to do. It just helps you, you know, get back on track a little bit. You don't have to be perfect about it. Don't be perfect about it. But having those as markers of like, this is what we want to do. This is the standard that we kind of want to reach as much as we can is so helpful. Put your morning and evening routines on a post-it note and stick them in your planner or stick them on your bathroom mirror. Have them right there so that you can go through the checklist and eventually make those things habit, right? So they say you have to do things a certain number of times. I forget what the number is. Somebody knows, put it here. I think it's such an interesting statistic. But you have to do those things a couple of times before they become an actual habit that just is ingrained in your brain, right? Um, okay, so that's prep work. Now, the, la the next thing you do is your bucket list, your yearly bucket list. Like, what are those things at the end of the year you want to say you did? Um, I have not prepared for this, but I'm going to think through it. What are some of the things at the end of the next school year that I want to say I did? Um, I want to visit our local library. I realize that's something I could probably do this afternoon, but we keep saying it and we haven't been. And it's just something I want to make sure I do soon. Um, and so I'm going to put that on the bucket list and maybe I'm going to put like, make it a regular thing. Maybe go once a month. Um, to the library. I want my kids to love books. I love books. I want them to love books. Brady Lay has fallen in love with books. And that was my biggest like hope and dream for him this year. Um, what else? I want to take my kids to uh, a picnic on the beach. We love picnics on the beach. We don't do them enough. We live in the most beautiful place on planet Earth. Pensacola Beach is gorgeous. Um, so picnic on the beach would be one. Um, I want to get outside more. So I want to do more afternoons outside, especially during the summertime. Um, but definitely in like the fall, it's just beautiful here. So more time outside. So those are just some things off the top of my head that I'm going to be writing down. Next, once you've written your bucket list, you're going to go to the simplicity challenge and just read them. Okay. Obviously in your 30 minutes or an hour to yourself, you're not going to do them all, but just read them. Just kind of like get them in your head, know what they are so that when you're ready, you can start tackling them. Then, then we're going to start actually putting stuff in the planner, okay? So you have your perpetual calendar, and you are going to go and put birthdays, anniversaries, whatever important dates you know, you're going to put them on the monthly spreads 
as well as the daily or weekly pages, okay? So you're gonna put them in two places. You want them in two places because you're gonna be looking at both, right? Put them all down. And then, this is so important, put reminders for yourself, okay? And we outline this process, again, in the front of the planner, so you don't feel like you have to memorize this. Write down reminders for yourself for things like, um, okay, it's my mom's birthday on this day. Two weeks beforehand, I'm gonna write on, on that day, whatever it is, shop for mom's birthday gift, right? That way, dates don't sting up on you. They don't sneak up on you and leave you like, ah, I forgot to do whatever. Um, you could also, and this is what I do, and I've told this story a couple times in Facebook Live, so sorry if you're hearing it for the like fifth time, but I, I started doing this thing when I got birthdays and stuff on my perpetual calendar leaving Tampa. I have a task on the 15th of every month to go and get birthday cards and write them and fill them out and stamp them and get them all done for the following month. And then on the first of that next month, I put them all in the mail, right? Who cares if someone gets a birthday card three weeks early? They won't care. They'll be thrilled the fact that you send them a card, right? So that just helps me. It's a tactical way to help me achieve a goal that I have of just loving on special friends and nurturing those relationships, right? Um, and so, yeah, put those kinds of things in your, in your planner. Maybe on the first of every month you write down Look at what important dates I have coming up next month. Check that perpetual calendar and see them all in one little spot. Um, like things that are coming up, right? Okay, so we talked about reminders and things like that. Once you've gotten those down and you've gotten all the important things in the monthly spread, in the daily spread, it's time to start using it. It's time to get it messy. Um, it's time to scribble things in and scratch things out and put stickers on it and fill your planner pocket full of whatever you want to put in there. It's time to make it yours, okay? And we don't care what your handwriting looks like because you don't have to post your pages to Instagram. You don't. And you can still post to Instagram if your handwriting's messy because who cares, right? Uh, it's yours to see. Hold on, I just dropped something. All right, now let me show you... Again, this is from this year. Ignore the cover pattern. But we do have this beautiful tile. Hold on. Let me just show you for fun. Ah! I have the tiniest little table here with all of my stuff on it. I need a bigger one. So this is this this is this was from last year. We do not have this available anymore. This is for this year. It's the same pattern and we changed the colorway. Um, mint tile is dreamy. It is absolutely dreamy. And the colorway came about by complete accident. <laughs> it was me playing around with colors. And I showed the team and they were like, yes, leave it. It's amazing. Uh, so this is mint tile. All right. Well, let me just show you some pages really quick. Um, um, so actual planner of mine. This is mine. Uh, you can see it's kind of like got stuff stuck in here. There's stickers gone. Tyler Lay took out a lot of these stickers one day to decorate a box. Good thing I knew where to get more. Let me show you some of these pages from when we did the Ruthless Declutter Challenge. So when it comes to filling out your, this is a daily, but obviously you can do any of these things in the weekly as well. When it comes to filling out your pages, you do whatever you want right? You make it yours. The more you use it, the more you'll come up with a system and a routine and um, a way that you do this that is simplified for you and makes you happy. If you want to scrapbook your planner and put stickers and things and washi and all that stuff, awesome. If you want to just scribble on it with a pen, go for it. <laughs> it does not matter. Whatever way you use it is going to be perfect. We have up here what we call headline space. And the headline space is where you can write down if it's someone's birthday. This is what I call like all day events, right? If it's an all day event that doesn't happen at a certain time, it's just something you need to remember, you would put it up here. Let me show you this just once up close so you can just see it all. Um, over here, what I do, because our schedule goes from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m., what I do is write the time that I have to do something and then a dash and then what it is, okay? So like, if it's 8.30 or 2.15 or whatever, you write it and then a dash and then whatever it is. I will also sometimes use washi tape to block out long blocks of time for certain things. During this day, I was doing the Ruthless Declutter Challenge and I was blocking out um, a couple of hours. And so I did that with the washi. I'm a very visual person. And so I, I love seeing like color coded things. I love seeing like 
the washi that blocks out time. You can use washi, by the way, on your monthly spreads if you want to mark out a couple of days at once for like vacation or a big work project or whatever. Hmm. Next, I have used some color coding stickers that we have on our website that are the most popular stickers we sell and they sell out all the time. They are in stock as of this very minute, but the color coding stickers do go really quickly. Um, they're little dots and I don't have any right here, but uh, maybe somebody can post a link to them over in the, in the comments. Um, I like to use them to denote um, personal tasks versus um, uh, work tasks so that I can at a glance just look at my planner and be like, okay, what does today look like? Um, and it's all right there. And then you can just check mark on top of it. Well, let's see. And then like over here, I use some different colored pen. Um, this was a little outline for an Instagram live I was doing. Um, obviously like I didn't have a huge task list this day because I was doing the Ruthless Declutter Challenge. And so over here, I just used some of this, these lines, this space to just jot some notes down. Um, you'll also see I used a sticker, one of our stickers that's in our um, simplified planner sticker book. I used that here and then just put a um, post-it note right here. And it, this was just a list that I had found of things that we needed in our kitchen. As I was decluttering, I was like, oh, we're out of cinnamon. <laughs> and so I just put those things right here. And this is that notes space that I told you about. So again, you can see color coded, um, use some washi and a sticker. I don't really do a whole lot of fancy stuff in mine as far as um, accessorizing with stickers. I, I use the stickers, but not, I don't use a ton of them. I prefer a very simplified look so that I can easily, when I'm in a hurry, go and see exactly what's going on, right? So stickers, um, you can see I use these stickers over here. These are our flag stickers. And where's my little paper clip? I had a little paper clip. We oh, here it is. These are our little pineapple paper clips. We have tons of fun paper clips in our shop. And I will often use these to paper clip like a coupon or something to the pages or paper clip like a, a thank you note to a page if I want to make sure that I write one on a certain day, that kind of thing. Okay. All right, y'all. I think we've covered all the things I had to cover. Let me go look at your list and see what questions you have. All right, can you talk about how you would use the new flag stickers? Do you write on them and do they fit the hour slots on the daily? Um, well, why don't we just test this out? Hmm. All right, I'm gonna scroll, I'm gonna go to a page in the back. Actually, I'll just use one of those we were just using. All right, let me find oh, the flag stickers. So let me just show you really fast the stickers. Hold on. Let me just show you the stickers we're talking about here. We have new stickers launching next Wednesday along with our brand new Simplify Planners. And these are the icon stickers. You can see them. They're so cute. And you get four pages. And then we have the variety stickers that are my personal favorite because they have gold foil on them. And you can see them there. There's the orange. Right? Everybody keeps asking for orange. <laughs> People keep asking us for orange. Um, all right. And then this, these are the flag stickers they're talking about. Um, these are them right there. I love this color palette so much. I love these colors. I love these colors. All right. So someone was asking, do they fit? Yeah, they absolutely fit. But let me show you. So the flag sticker. Now I'm going to put it in the daily spot. Okay. So you can see how they fit in the lines. Okay, they fit perfectly. And they actually don't fit too tight. So you don't have to worry about like perfectly lining it up, right? And yes, you can write on it. Um, really any pens work fine, but if you're worried about anything like smudging or smearing, I would just use, um, an, this is a tip from our friend Jen McIntosh. She said to use an ultra fine Sharpie. Um, the ultra fine Sharpies work great. Okay, so that's that. Let me get back to my questions. Um, does the mini notebook fit in the front pocket of the weekly? I don't know. I don't think that they fit in the weeklies. I think they fit in the dailies. Let me see. I will test it out. Uh, oh, goodness, I need a new table. 
front pocket of the... Oh, I lied. They fit. <laughs> Ignore me. I'm new here. <laughs> they fit fine. <laughs> um, yes, they fit fine. I don't... I don't know that I would necessarily put a mini notebook in the front pocket of the weekly. Um, it is a little snug, but you can do it. Um, if anything, okay, if anything, here's what I would do. It definitely fits in the front of the daily because obviously it's bigger, but here's what I would do if I was you and you have a weekly. I would take this mini notebook, put it right, put it right here inside, right? And then take a stretchy band. I'm going to post some Instagram stories later showing you all four stretchy bands on all six covers. Okay. A lot of people I keep asking like what band works best or looks best with what cover. And, uh, Wit took some amazing photos of all four on all six covers. So we're going to post that. Um, oh, this is a daily band. Hang on. So I think this is a weekly band. So you can kind of just, you know, stretch a band it in and it stays in just like that in the weekly. Or, if you don't want to like stuff it in there, you could just, if you're taking it with you somewhere, ah, you could just stretchy band it to it. Okay. That's cute. That's what I would do. I would just like stretchy band it to it and it's tight. Like it's not going to fall out. Right. Yay. All right. There's that. If you're purchasing stretchy bands, make sure that you, you select daily bands or weekly bands because they're different sizes. These are all dailies. That one was a weekly. All right. Okay. Here I go. Um, okay. Before I forget, go in the comments, please. And comment which simplified planner you're going to get on Wednesday, because I'm going to choose one of you to win a simplified planner before this is over. And I'm going to give away a pink pineapple weekly today. Okay. So go over here and comment which simplified planner you're going to get. And while you do that, I'm going to take a sip of coffee because it's early. This is an ember mug, by the way. And it's like the best thing that ever happened to me. I used to pour out so many half cups of coffee that I didn't drink that got cold and my, my ember mug keeps my coffee warm. It's amazing. All right. Okay, someone said, I need meal plan help. Any suggestions? Me too, sister. <laughs> it's hard. I don't know why it's hard for me. It's not hard for other people, but it's hard for me. <laughs> um, I honestly, one of the things that's really changed the game for me from meal planning is having a go-to meals list. Use those four pages in the front of your simplified planner to keep your go-to meals list so that you don't feel like you're recreating the meal, the wheel, not the meal. Well, recreating the meal too. Um, tactically, like I really love, um, skinny taste. She has really great recipes that I feel like are healthy. My family will eat. My husband is like the pickiest person on planet Earth. I don't know why I'm whispering. He knows this. He's so picky. <laughs> He's so picky. He's, my kids aren't as picky as he is. Um, and so when I find a meal that like we all love, and here it goes. Like like he has food group colors that he will not eat. Like white things, he will not eat them. I know. I don't know. Oh, hi. I knew this was going to happen. You say hi? Then you gotta hi. go. Okay, here, I'll let you say hi. <laughs> because it's a weekend. Oh my goodness. You say hi. Hi. Okay, you gotta look right there. Hi. What's your name? Can't lie. You have yogurt on your face. <laughs> Alright, you gotta go out there. I'll be done in one minute. Maybe yeah. maybe five. Do you um, go see daddy? Um, I'm okay, go get some water. Bye. Water. This is live. Real life, y'all. I don't want water. Okay, go talk to daddy. He'll get it for you. Okay. All right. We gotta wrap this up. Um, okay. What were we... <laughs> I totally just lost where we were. <gasps> Questions. That's where we were. Um, let me grab my phone. Okay. Oh, meal planning. So Skinny Taste is wonderful and has really, really, really good ideas. Um, totally recommend following her. Tips for using stickers and paper clips in the weekly. Um, tips for using stickers and paper clips in the weekly. Well, I think we, we kind of covered that a little bit. You can use stickers for anything you want. You can color code with them. You can put them on special dates. We have so many. Say daddy, please. Thank you. We have so many, uh, fun stickers, both in the simplified planners and also available separately. And also as part of our simplified planner, uh, sticker book. Hang on. I got to shut my door. Um, 
She went to get water, but she left the door open. And it starts to echo. Okay. Um, I would suggest... I would suggest with stickers, start out with the color coding stickers. Well, first start out with what comes in the Simplify Planner. And then if you want to branch out and you want to try something a little bit different that, you know, might help you organize a little bit more, try the color coding stickers. People who use them swear by them. I love them. And I'm really excited about these variety stickers as well. Like, I think I will use these a lot just to put on special days like birthdays or if somebody has a field trip or something like that. Okay. Um, do you ever go back and redo your prep work in times of overwhelm? Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, if you missed Overcoming Overwhelm the other day, I highly recommend watching it because we got so deep into it and it was so fun. It was so good. When you get into a time of being completely overwhelmed, my best suggestion is to just do a brain dump. And what that, what I mean by that, we have a free printable for it in our um, free printable library, but just get a piece of paper or for me, I use a poster board. And when my husband sees me coming with a poster board and a Sharpie, he's like, great, here we go. But I just have to get things out of my head sometimes. And I, the, the only way for me to get out of my own head that I, because I'm overwhelmed is to get everything out of my head. And you just brain dump everything. Like, Everything you're thinking about, whether it's a task or a worry or a thing or like a question or a, a something you got to do or something that's kind of consuming your thoughts, just put it on paper. The act of writing things down for me is just therapeutic. Maybe that's why I love to write books, but like it's so helpful for me to just get it out of my head. So if you hit a patch over the next year where you are completely overwhelmed, just get it out of your head and come to our group. We have a Facebook group. Um, called the Simplified Sisterhood, and there's like, I don't know, there's like almost 30,000 women in it, and it's amazing. And people just share ideas and encouragement and before and afters of their pantries and just all kinds of things. It's so great. Um, but go and join that and be part of it. It's so fun to connect with other people who are using the Simplified Planner. Um, let's see. Are the prep pages the same as last year? No, they've been tweaked ever so slightly. They're a little bit different. Will there be less notes pages at the end of the weekly? Nope. There's 27 pages. Okay. I'm providing academic planners for my three college age daughters. Are you able to send them the coaching videos directly? Can I register them? Yes. If you are purchasing a planner as a gift, um, the coaching emails are going to come to you. So you can just forward those on. Or if you have a special circumstance like that, just shoot us an email. We'll help you out. Um, hello, emilylay.com. All right. I'm providing, oh, nope, I already did that one. What time do you go to bed if you wake up at five? Okay, so I go to bed at 10 right now, usually, unless I'm working on a new website, which means I stay up way later, but we're done with that. Uh, go to check out our website, by the way. We worked so hard on it and it's beautiful. Um, I go to bed at 10. I would like to go to bed earlier, but I'm such a night owl. I just always have been. And I, I think having twins like trained me to not need like nine hours of sleep. And so seven is perfect for me. So I go to bed at 10, wake up at five, and it works. I would like to back that up an hour, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Would you ever consider putting Saturday and Sunday on their own pages in the daily? I get this question all the time, and the answer is no. And here's why. If we were to put Saturday and Sunday on their own pages, okay, Dapper Desk has Saturday and Sunday on their own pages. FYI, if you're looking for a daily planner that has full pages for Saturday and Sunday, Dapper Desk. But the reason that we haven't done it is because I love that every Wednesday is on the left and every Thursday is on the right. Again, I'm visual. I like the consistency of that. Every Monday is on the uh, left. Every Tuesday is on the right, right? We did Wednesday and Thursday. And then every weekend is on the right hand side. Also, if we were to add 52 pages to this daily planner, which is essentially how many pages we have had. If we were to add 52 pages, this thing, this binding would not hold up and this thing would be heavy, okay? It would be huge. So uh, I'll show you, like Dapper Desk is pretty, oof, Dapper Desk is like really pretty substantial. All right, well, let me go back to the questions. Every time you share these stories, it inspires me. I need to do this. Do you save birthdays in one place? Yes, on that perpetual calendar. So print out that perpetual calendar, put your birthdays and anniversaries and things on, all, on that, and utilize that, you know, throughout the year if you're writing birthday cards or that kind of thing, and then 
year after year after year as you're setting up your simplified planner. Okay. Um, I gotta wrap this up. Wow. This is a long one. Um, a couple like really fast things I have to tell you that you have to do. Okay. All of the links for these are in the descriptions. So make sure that you go and do them. Go see our new website. It's so pretty. We would love for you to go and check it out. If you click on our story, also you can see the timeline, like the history of Simplified, like how we got started, pictures of when we used to ship Simplified planners out of my living room. <laughs> um, it was insane. Awesome stuff, right? Um, also, just some fun, like little known facts about the Simplified planners. Like the Simplified planner is the size, like the dimensions it is, the daily, because it was designed to fit USPS Regional A boxes because they were free. Um, and Get free company, like we were pinching every penny we could. We got free boxes because they were this specific size. So that's just some funny stuff you can read about on the Our Story page. You can also on that page meet our team and our whole team of eight. You can click, it's at the very bottom, click the button and you can meet our entire team and read everyone's story and it's super fun. All right, sign up for the newsletter because later this afternoon, I'm going to send out a video, this video, and it will be on our website, housed on our website so that you can watch the whole thing. And we're also sending you a freebie today. Hang on, let me grab my little folder. Oh, today, we are sending out, oh, this is a good one. Today, we're sending out the Simplified Planner Setup Checklist. And it just walks you through setting it up and planner accessories to grab and have on hand, a couple helpful tips and then links you'll love. So at the bottom, we have links that you'll like, including our free printable library, the sisterhood group and our Spotify playlists that you can go and check out. So this is going to come out later today. It's a free printable. It'll be in your inbox. You can print it at home. Also, if you are unsure about what edition or what cover is best for you, go take our quiz. Link is in my description here. Take a quiz to find out which edition and which cover fits your style, your life right now, your, your personal preferences, your personality. It's so cute. Go and take that. And then you can also go to our free printable library to print out the daily and weekly pages. Yes. So you can actually print out the daily page and the weekly spread and test it at home to kind of try it before you buy it. Um, I'll be doing an Instagram live today at 2 p.m. Eastern time on my account at Emily Lay, and I'm just going to be super casual answering questions. Um, no question is a dumb question. We have lots of new friends and followers, so I'm happy to answer all the questions. Um, yes, we will have bundles on launch day. The daily bundle is 115 and the weekly bundle is 105. You get your choice of planner, mini notebook, page markers, stickers, pen, stretchy bands, and paper clips. It is like the ultimate simplified planner bundle and you'll get free US shipping as well. So any order over $100 will get you free US shipping on launch day. Okay, talked about the video library, all the Facebook Lives from this week and launch weeks past all live there, and that's it. Okay, now I'm gonna pick a winner. Okay, go say hi in the comments. Just make sure you do it real quick so you can enter. I'm gonna scroll down the bottom, and I'm gonna put my mouse over names, and then I'm just gonna scroll. This is our pink weekly. I'm gonna scroll up to the top. Oh, where's my mouth? Okay. Christy Jestel. I hope I said your name right, and I apologize, I apologize if I did it. But Christy, you are our winner. You can email us at hello at emilylay.com, and we will send you your pink pineapple weekly edition. Yay! All right, let me make sure I got to everything. Sweet. All right, I got to get out of here. Launch day is coming up so soon. It's three days away, April 3rd, this Wednesday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. If you have a cover that you're interested in, make sure that you are on your computer or your phone on launch day before 10 a.m. Eastern time when our site will be unlocked. It'll unlock at 10 a.m. and you'll be able to get in and purchase your new Simplified Planner. When will they sell out? I don't know. Sometimes we sell out certain covers on launch day. Who knows? <laughs> we have no idea. Um, but this launch week has been so fun. I hope these tips are super helpful. And I will see you on Instagram later today. Bye.